breaker. Just accept it in Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Pastor Barnswell. Pastor Barnswell. Pastor Barnswell. Has a testimony. And she's going to bring on Bishop after the testimony in Jesus' name. Pastor Barnswell. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Just suppose God search through heaven and couldn't find one willing to be as supreme. Sacrifice that was needed to buy eternal life for you and me. Had it not been for the place called Mount Calvary. Had it not been for the old rugged cross, had it not been for the man called Jesus, and for willing to drink that bitter cup. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know he prayed.
to drink the spirit of God. Although he, he prayed, prayed, you know, prayed you the reason why I sing this song. I'm so glad. I just mix it up right now because I feel the glory of God stretching out in here. Hallelujah, Jesus. All these times of what pastor is coming and he's giving. Oh, glory to God. But I believe tonight the Lord want to give him. I'm so glad that he was willing. Jesus, I'm so glad that he was willing to come to Canada. I'm so glad that he was willing. It was a bitter cup. So glad that he was willing. He prayed, Father, let it pass from me. He prayed. He prayed. I remember when I called on him. The first year he didn't come. He didn't come. He didn't come. He said, I gotta pray. He didn't come. He gotta see God. In spite of I was so much to him. And I know I meant a lot to him. But he had to pray to find out if he should take this call and put his foot back in Canada. From 1970 in the 70s, he was coming in. But I'm so glad tonight that our pastor was willing to drink Canada Bitter Cup. Although he prayed, it's not only in Toronto, Winnipeg, Calgary, anybody here? Edmonton. But I thank God tonight, we don't know what we have. It is so important. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus to have such a man. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I beg that the Lord would help us to recognize him and to put him in the position where he belongs. Even if we cannot do it by hand, but deep in our heart, we will lift him up. Hallelujah, Jesus, and honor God to know that we have a man. Just suppose God search through heaven until this day a bit elder just supposed God had searched and couldn't find one willing to come and help us couldn't find one willing couldn't find it wasn't easy oh Jesus I'm so glad he was willing to drink that bitter cup although he prayed father let it pass from me so that just in case if it's not the will of God he wouldn't be here but today I know it is the will of God I've seen its signs everywhere. I remember September gone. It's about what, 10, 11 past our 12 years. I was in camp. And I think I was going to the wash. I was walking through. And I met Elder Gail. Didn't even know the man. Oh, Lord, but he knew me. And he come and he said, Mr. Barnswell. And I said, yes, sir. He says, how could I get in touch with Bishop Johnson? Can you tell me? And I said, he's passing by my, he's coming by my house on Tuesday night or Monday night. If you really want to get in touch with him, I can open up and let you in. He's only sleeping over, but I can, you come and I will let you talk to him. I don't know what he want. I don't know what he want. But that was so many years ago, more than 10. 15. 15? See what I mean? I'm 15 years ago in CAM convention, which was September, as you know, it just passed. So it's really just celebrate 15. And, and it was right at the nick of time when Bishop was passing, going to Calgary. He got to sleep at my house and get up the next morning and go. And I said, he will be passing my house on Tuesday. Come. And you will see him, whatever you want. I don't know him, but he had a need. Just suppose God had searched through heaven. But tonight we are so glad that he was willing to drink this bitter cup. Although he prayed, Father, let it pass from me. He prayed, if God did say, no, we would never have him here. But God, he did see God. I felt it when I called and he didn't come, Evangelist Gail. I cried. I said, God, if it's not Bishop Johnson, then who it is? Because I never know that he would have to go seek God so hard before he come. I thought he would have just run. 
So when you see him in Canada, he's here, directed God by Almighty. God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And from that day, Elder Gail came to my house that night and talked to him. And all these years, herself and Elder Gail become workers together. We find out what he needs and what he needs and what we need. And we bond together. Amen. And tonight we're giving the Lord thanks. After 15 years, we can still be in here with the brethren from Rehoboth and the brethren from Faith House. We go a mighty long way and it's not over yet. There are mountains to climb and there are valleys to cross. But with Jesus, he's leading the open door. And it's not over yet. We are going to see more and you're going to see the lighthouse in the city. I remember when we had a convention at 20th Street. And when we called Bishop Johnson, when we, he preached Bishop Salt. God bless Bishop Salt. I admire Bishop Salt behind Bishop Johnson. I remember one day they were going out. I was taking them out shopping. And Bishop, John, and Bishop Salt, Chris up, come down, man, dress, ready to go shopping. Bishop, a pastor didn't come down yet. When a pastor dressed, no one come down. And Bishop Salt, look at him. Here, Bishop Salt, whoops, ain't already yet. I have to go up and just like my past, Bishop. And he just run up the stairs and go dress exactly like Bishop and come back down and ready for shopping. That's humility. That's love. And that's a man of God. And when he preached at Center Street that night, he preached, he preached. And he sweat. And Bishop Salt said, let's cut up a shirt. Let's take a shirt. Let's take it home and cut it up. And we take the shirt home and we cut it up. And bring it to the service the next night on one a miracle. And I decided I'm going to hold a little for this church, Winnipeg, that wasn't there. Send a little to Calgary. Send a little to Edmonton because we got to share the blessing. We got to share the honey. So the, the portion that I take, I was going to Edmonton just three or so weeks after the convention and I take the portion down there and I was collecting offering the night. And as I call it, they often and give a bit of the encouragement. I'm telling the brethren, before we finish, I finished collecting the offering that night. Nine souls were filled with the Holy Ghost. Nine. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. As soon as they would, we would, they would drop their offering and I'll give them a bit, they're on the floor. They're on the floor. And I keep, I'm still keeping cook money, money. As I, they're on the floor washing and tarrying and filling with the Holy Ghost. And I'm there. Bring your offering. Bring your offering. We collect money that night. There was a white man there. And his wife is there. Church we used to, to keep the service. When the man see the man say, whoa. Couldn't believe it. The souls are filling with the Holy Ghost. And men are coming in with the offering. And we just bless God. We just magnify God. Because he was good. One lady in the crowd get a piece of the handkerchief. Twelve years, she got married and never have a child. And trying, could not have a child. And she decide, boy, I'm not handkerchief, a shirt. I'm going to do something with this. And that lady went home. And she cut it up in bits. And she take it like pills. And now how many children? Maybe about three children she have now. Two or three children she have now. Immediately. She got pregnant and to have that one and go again and have one a mighty God. And, not, and another, another man from Florida, he got married. He's not having any either. And he said, if they can do it and have, let's do it. And he get a hold of piece of also cut it up and take it. He's not having children too. Come on. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Come on, preaching. God is good. We love him, we love him, we love him. Amen. And there's no end. And that's just it. I keep a little peace. And I walk around with it for three years in my Bible. Looking for Sister Winifred Bryan. I don't know for what reason to give her that little peace. And she took the piece of handkerchief. And I finally find her. Piece of shirt. And I give it to her. 
and by the next convention she was in the service and she got her miracle healing you could hear it over the entire world of the miracle that she got and I'm saying tonight there's no end to the riches and the blessing just to know that he's around makes me feel good Tuesday night I was at church to tell the brethren look I'm just going down if I'm this girl or apostle is coming tonight I'm just going for my hug and that's it Amen, Jesus. And once I go down here and get the hug, that's it. Deal close. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm blessed because of the man of God. Amen. All my sorrows will be over. Hallelujah, Jesus. I leave myself into the hand of the Lord. And I take the time out to talk about this man of God because he's not just a man just coming here and just taking plane. I sorry for him sometime. Hallelujah, Jesus. I sorry for him the weather condition. Hallelujah. Always tired and the rest of it. But when I, I, I check him out also, you know, not only to go to Allegheny Tuesday night, but to check him out if he's okay. And when I see him, I see him that he's okay. I even tell another elder, yes, I saw a pastor and he's okay. He's okay. He's in good. He's in good spirit. Last year he wasn't. He was tired. Amen and done. So God bless you. God bless every one of us. This is where he's coming from in Canada. He didn't have to do it, but he did. God do it for us. And I want you all to be encouraged and be strong and just a look at him. Just focus on him tonight and you will be blessed. And now I take great pleasure presenting to you the holy man of God, our pastor, Bishop G. W. Brethren, and praise the Lord. Brethren, and praise the Lord. I, if I have the knowledge that I'm pastor was talking so much about Brother Johnson. I would hide outside. But just lift your hand. Jesus. Honor the Lord. Jesus. And before Jesus. the house, the house is packed with fire. Sister Gail. I'm happy for you. So just sit down in my chair and see if you feel anything. If you feel anything, you get up. And, well, you can, you can get up. You can get up. You can get up. You can get up quick. Ella Gail. Sit down in the chair and see if you can feel anything. Sam, so feel something? You feel something? Well, well, well listen. Your trouble is over. On a trouble, on a trouble is over. I don't know what trouble is like. Bishop El Gale and Sister Gale, you trouble over. I was asked to do that and to tell you that your trouble is over. I don't know what trouble is around them, but your trouble. Over. 
um, Elder, Elder John says, my, I want a young boy now that passed the ring, and I do hope you read one of this already. If you don't, don't miss it. And tell them, if you go through that, tell them watch you. I'm going to give Bishop to wind up. As I told them that a while ago, Elder Johnson is uh, my son. Just as before I came, just the glory, glory, glory. Sunday night, I don't sleep all night. Never. When I am up, I survey the 40 churches under my supervision and other churches of different organization. I have to survey them because they are calling for help and it's on my shoulder. And even since I came here, I don't sleep all night. I'm listening for heaven. And something melt this house tonight. And the house is packed with power. Anybody don't feel that, sit down. The house is packed with fire. So I came this Sunday night before I, in the night, I heard the Lord said to me to call one of my young minister and tell him, be strong. Nothing less. Morning I got up, I heard him say it again. Call him, tell him, be strong. I didn't get him. In the day, I heard him said, call him, tell him, be strong. And I didn't get him until we get in church tonight. Business meeting and I call Ellen. Brown, call Elder Isaac now. And as he called me, I said, I don't know what trouble you have, but the Lord said, be strong. Amen. And the third time, I said, be strong. He start to give me what is happening. I said, God said, be strong. And he just threw the photograph, the um, telephone, his wife was there. Listen what God said. Said, God, say, be strong. While he was going to the university, just look for her daughter. It attacked him. The right and company. They rob, rob her, her telephone, and her money. Just meet him like that. And all he could hear, the Lord said, be strong. I leave them under the anointing. And the Lord said, your trouble is over. And somebody tongue hot. I don't know what is happening. But tell somebody to put themselves together. <sighs> I'm just giving you one of the testimony and Elder going to give one and then I gave him the telephone. I heard him say something tonight. The 
the Lord will pass you and give you some problem that you can't believe is God. I heard a while ago, I taught it Sunday and it was fire. There are sometimes some things happen to you as a Christian. You cannot believe it could God. You have a couple of this. I'm going to ask everybody in here. Don't leave it one. Give somebody one like a truck and testify. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But the people that are hearing me tonight, take it. Take two or three. When you're handing it to the person, give them testimony. What come through this? It's happened through Paul. When I read it of, of Paul, I said to God, I need it. And God gave it through me. I could not, Paul could not reach everybody to put their hand on. I'm talking to who read the Bible. Hello. So the Lord said, if you can believe me, I let your clothes kerchief and apron And the Lord said, you can use it, and I will get the glory. Anybody here ever have an experience of the kerchief? Lift your hand now. And if you never tried, just before I came, I got a call from Canada here. Canada is not just a Pian, pian, country about Pentecost. It is in Canada, after modern Stapleton. Get there and hand the gospel to the deacon of a Baptist. get rough. The Baptist man said that he did have his pipe in his pocket and he went to the prior meeting. While she started to the prior meeting the Holy Ghost what did I say? The Holy Ghost fell on the Baptist man. Praise the Lord. And that was in Kingston. And he said before him he saw Brownstone St. Anne. And he did not know Brownstone. God say that. And while she was about to go back to the United States, there was a friend of her, Arthur Watson from Canada. And she asked him to go to Jamaica to brace Ella Lee. Watson died in Jamaica. Yes, El Lee stayed there 46 years. And thank God I'm stepping in the 50 now. 
Listen to me, folks. 